Oh, I missed an accent and I also missed a le. Another comment um, yeah, from a French person saying, I missed this, I missed that. Bad start. Not everyone's nice. Not everyone's nice. Some people are just arseholes, aren't they? Um, I'm here with Katie and Chris, who are from Washington, DC. Katie and Chris are going to be moving to the Chouant uh, area in... Next spring. Next spring. And it's just go, 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 go all the time. There seems to be a much better sense of community. But before any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Pool, vous avez bien dormi? Et vous avez femme? Je vais vous donner du grain. On y va. Bon appétit. Good morning. Good Monday morning. From Department 16, Departement 16, La Charente, here in the northernmost tip of the southwest of France. I've, um, I've been asked to speak more slowly by the French viewers because some watch the channel in order to learn English. I can say with utmost certainty, you will not learn good English from me. Um, but if you want to keep on watching, then that's absolutely fine. So I'll try and speak more slowly. I'm from the northwest of England. We speak really quick. Anyway, I woke up this morning to 1,500 views. That's never happened before. That last video must have uh, hit, a, hit a nerve in a good way uh, with a lot of people and a lot of um, comments from French people, which is amazing. The vast majority of which were really, really positive and uh, it gave good advice on um, how to learn French uh, more quickly. Uh, so we're over here on a non-working visa. So uh, yes, yeah, so are going to work isn't an option for us at the moment. <clears throat> um, you're volunteering uh, is, a, is, is a potential. Lisa's going to speak uh, with a horse riding stables this weekend, um, or Thursday, I think it is, and see about volunteering there. And I'm going to inquire about taking some formal French lessons. Yes, yeah, so the title of yesterday's video on the intro was Francais est très compliqué. Now, <laughs> I tried my best with the accents and, uh, and the little squiggly thing under the sea. In France, um, it's probably got it's probably got a word. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Um, but I missed an accent, and I also missed a le. So it should be le français est très compliqué. Um, yeah, it was my first attempt, and I didn't even uh, didn't use Google Translate. I just thought I would uh, just try it. Now I had one comment, um, put me right in a in a polite way, which is nice. Thank you. Another comment. Um, yeah, from a French person saying, I missed this, I missed that. Bad start. I should really be concentrating on the really good comments, but it's those ones that just stick in your throat. But uh, I'm going to, I'm sure I'll get over it. Anyway, because not everyone, not everyone's nice, not everyone's nice. Some people are just arseholes, aren't they? But um, yeah, really, really appreciate the, the French people subscribing. And welcoming, welcoming, welcoming. See, I can't even speak English. Don't learn English from me. Welcoming us to France, and especially La Chante, which is lovely, beautiful, <laughs> and, and quiet. Shh, Arnie, that's the cockle. Anyway, so we're off for a meal today. Confalon at a place called Asiatique, or Asiatic. That's how the, that's how the English owner pronounced it anyway. Uh, but sounds like Asiatique to me. Anyway, with Katie and Chris from Washington, D.C., in Etats-Unis, in the United States. And uh, yeah, they're moving over to France uh, next April, I believe. And they, yeah, they want to take us out for lunch so they can pick our brains on, uh, on the process. Um, yeah, certainly on our journey, because everyone's journey is different. You know, if you want to start a business, you know, that's a slightly different journey. You've got to have a minimum level of B1 French, I believe. If you're coming over on a non-working visa, you don't need to have any level of French, you just hop across. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but we're trying. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're off for lunch uh, with Katie and Chris. So that's exciting. Um, pass them some knowledge and hints and tips. But, uh, so, yeah. So, um, whatever's next. I don't know what it is. Let's do that.
Right, the temperature is it's definitely dropped. Off to Conflon. Q slower. <laughs> See a party. It's very gravelly. That first Wednesday. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things you took from me, I know that I am so much better. Better. When I look at what I've done. So good afternoon. Um, I'm here with Katie and Chris, who are from Washington, DC. Um, they sub I hope you subscribe. I know you watch the videos. Do you subscribe? Yes. Uh, <laughs> and so we met them for lunch in uh, Conflon. Uh, we were meant to be going to Asiatique, um, and we well, you noticed that it was shut. So we went to Cafe de Sport around the corner where we had uh, a nice little bit of lunch. But Katie and Chris are going to be moving to the Charant uh, area in... Next spring. Next spring. Uh, yes, yeah, so tell the people uh, about what your plans are, what the what the intention is ultimately. So um, we're thinking about buying some sort of small farmhouse, a little bit kind of like what Rob has, um, where I'm retiring. So, um, and we're going to try to come down, go get, have the quiet life. And, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's all, it's all about having a different quality of life. So what would your life be like back in DC compared to... Here in the Chiron. <laughs> well, night and day. Go ahead. I get up at my alarm goes off at four thirty in the morning. Wow. Um, I'm at work generally by six. Some days in the high season, I can be working until five, six at night outside in the heat, and uh, you know it never stops, and it's just go 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 all the time and. You know, we just really wanted to change the pace and, and slow down and take in life, you know, enjoy life and, and actually be present mm -hmm. instead of going all the time. Yeah, completely. And what is it about French culture that you particularly enjoy compared to the American culture? There seems to be a much better sense of community. Um, you know, people come together and they help each other, you know, um, villages, you can come together for a coffee on a Sunday morning at the Tabac, um, or just sit outside and, and, and enjoy lunch, see friends, see people at the market, relax, do things instead of work, 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 come home, lather, rinse, repeat, you know, <laughs> and, and that's not you know what that's that's what happens in the states that is not what happens here um you know i know people work and people do things but you know there there's much more sense of family of of community of togetherness whereas in america it's it's all about me 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 go 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 what are you going to do for me and and that's just gotten so old yes and uh I think people, you're thinking about moving over to France, sometimes put it off mm. and then keep putting it off and then keep it off. And then it gets to the point where it becomes too late, you know. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna follow your dreams, you know, yeah, sometimes it, it, it's, it's good to have that bit of courage. 
It's a it's a big leap, isn't it? It's a bit it's a bit of a scary step, but um, I I think we're going to be okay. You know, I'm excited about a lot of food. The, the food here is amazing. Yeah, um, and the wines and the cheeses are just out of this world and incredibly inexpensive in many ways. So, uh, and and it's a lot like what you said is if not now when yeah you know and we have said it's an adventure mm -hmm. you know it, it's scary but it's an adventure. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, we can always go back or we can always find somewhere else to go. Yeah. Or just, you know, but if, if you're not going to try something new, then, you know, you're just going to stay in your, you know, constant go, 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 day to day, stagnant life. And, you know, we, we, Chris and myself, we've been through a lot in the 20 years we've been together. Um, and it's, it's time to branch out and just enjoy life and, and really grab it and go. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I, I often liken big life changing decisions like this to arranging a wedding or having, starting a family. It's like, it's never a good time to do it financially. You know, so sometimes, you know, just thinking, right, there's never going to be a perfect time. Let's just do it now. Yeah, and but just... it's also kind of nothing ventured, nothing gained either. Yeah, exactly. And I'm I'm really excited about a whole new, different way of living, and, and you know, being in a new country with a different language. And Rob's right. Study French if you want to come over here. You need a basic understanding. I, I'm doing Duolingo too, and I've just about passed like my A1, and we were just in Limoges. And I realized I don't know as much as I should know any of it. <laughs> so um, I've had quite a lot of comments from, from the video that went out yesterday in relation to how to make learning French a lot easier. So I've now uh, booked my first official French lesson, which is happening on Monday. That's going to be an online lesson. And uh, somebody suggested um, having a look at the, the channel French Facile. Uh, so I've had a quick look at their video this morning, and, it, and it's a French man talking in French with both English and French subtitles mm. and he speaks really, really slowly. And I thought, yeah, yeah, this is something that I could probably get into, you know, because you can hear the verb conjugation, you know, you can hear the nuances on the accent, whereas when French people speak conversationally, they speak really, really quick mm -hmm. and it just sounds like a load of vowels being thrown <laughs> in your face. And uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, if any of you guys have got any questions that you want to ask Katie or Chris, Put them in the comments. I'm pretty sure you, 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 can, monitor the, you can monitor the comments and, and yeah. answer them directly, especially sure. uh, yeah, for the American community that are thinking about moving over here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they will uh, answer your question. So I uh, don't know whatever next is, whatever it is, let's do that. Yeah, so that was Katie and Chris. Lovely couple. When they come over in April, that will uh, that will fly around. I'm sure it will. Big, brave decision for them to make. But... Uh, yeah, they're going to be surrounded by lovely French people that will, that will certainly help them. Anyway, uh, but that comment there that I was mentioning a bit earlier on about, uh, about the person saying that uh, I got off to a bad start and it was, uh, it was bothering me. You're not to worry. <laughs> a couple of French subscribers have, have jumped in on that comment and, uh, and put them right. I'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon. I'm back in Confalon. Just take my bike out for a ride. Yeah, nothing much to do today. Kids uh, are off school, it's Wednesday. Tomorrow, me and Lisa are gonna try and drop the kids off and uh, make hasty speed to Angoulême to go and pick up my carte de séjour. There's one last thing left to say. It's not from me. Laters.